All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the 10th episode of the Made in Dreams podcast. Today we have the Burger Van joining me, your host, Mighty Vicious, and my heterosexual life mate, Jamie James, the emperor. He's he's, he's had a bit of a rough day, and I'm sorry we did have to show up late. There were some technical difficulties, but uh, let us know how it's going to go because we're trying to figure out what's wrong still uh as far with uh van's microphone but we're going to keep going because as far as our pretest went you should still be able to hear him and that's good enough for us so i'll try to speak loudly there we go yeah see i can understand it's good that, enough. yeah it's good enough or i'll just put yeah. the microphone directly in my mouth <laughs> we'll just call him Deep Throat. <laughs> How do you know my nickname? <laughs> How do you know my nickname? <laughs> Yikes! Anyway, so no, okay. it's all it's all love. It's all love. Anyway, so um, yeah. As usual, as usual, we're wait, wait a minute. So, what was the issue? You have to explain that first. It, we I just gotta, did. I yeah, we we just explained it. <laughs> <laughs> so it is so it, chat, yeah, chat it, just not listening at all. Chat, <laughs> chat is gonna be rough today, but you know what? <laughs> We're ready. So um oh, oh, I'm I'm ready. Yes. So for starters, uh, I would like to say the the major topic that we're probably going to get into a little bit later today uh is going to be just so just so chat can prepare the, mm. the one of the main topics of discussion today is going to be uh a, sort of a the question of the week for the community last week it was is dreams dying mm. this week something that i caught on to while visiting a few different people was um if we feel that media molecule has been too quiet about the ps5 version of dreams and how that's going to go over as well as uh, things that are within their ability to add to the game and things that may cause technical difficulty. And that specific question we're going to get to because uh, I ran it. I ran into kind of a strange answer on that uh, this week, but to start off per usual, we're going to hand over everything to burger van or burger or van, whichever one you want to call them, just let us know. Questions in there, <laughs> and um, and uh, yeah, tell us the origin of Burger Vance. Uh, well, it's not that interesting to be honest. It's just a play on my last name, uh, which is Vanderberg. So I just kind of rearranged the letters a bit. Yeah. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming, guys. It's been a great episode. <laughs> well were you were you in the well i i would think because of the quality of your work that you were in the beta for this I like was. you've you've been in this way before a lot of people were um i i don't know like what's the what's the main inspiration behind your games because i do feel like there's a i do feel like there's a, a common thread throughout them uh I mean that's interesting. What what do you think the common thread is? <laughs> I'm very I, curious. I don't know. Like it, for me, there always seems to, like one year aesthetic reminds me a lot of, but it reminds me of. I'm not trying to compare it to, but your aesthetic seems to feel like Fez to me. Oh, interesting. And, because, the, um, and Fez. Yeah. Did you never play Fez? I have no, no. Oh, well, it's it's the game that's like a 3D pixel where you're constantly turning around like the like the um it's it, it it's it, I don't know. It's like the yeah, I've seen the game. So I I definitely get where you're coming from and yeah. especially Cuba has gotten a lot of comparisons to Fez, but uh I've never actually played that game. So that's not an influence at all. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's, okay, it's yeah. I've, just, I've just googled it and I totally see where you're going with it. Okay, so like it's not like I, I said, it's not a comparison. Maybe. It's not a comparison as in like yeah. this is like, but it's it's kind of like I feel like the aesthetic of how you build 
is 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 almost similar, like in the way you yeah, use the camera. Like, it's kind of like blocky and the, the very like saturated colors, very colorful. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I I get that, especially with like something like Infinity Jump. I think aesthetically that looks a lot like sort of mm. the Bethesda. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I mean that's that's the aesthetic that I see running through it, but it's. I I can't get over like how polished everything looks. Mm-hmm. Now now I know t- you're probably going to be like, "Oh, I I see the flaws and yeah, everything." I mean, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's just the 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 curse of the artist, but <laughs> like everything seems so well thought out. Like for instance, um let's start with Ku- with Kubrick, which I have to ask is 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 that did that come from like Q Bert or did it come from like Stanley Kubrick or <laughs> like is there a tie to why you named it Kubrick other than just the aesthetic? No, yeah, it's basically just the aesthetic, uh, but then obviously it's kind of a nod to, to Stanley Kubrick. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe all right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> but um, so what what was the beginning of that game for you? Like what, what, uh, what was the process, I guess? So the actual idea came from, um, the game Captain Toad on, I think it was okay. on Wii U, uh, yeah. where you can like kind of rotate the levels around to find secrets and stuff like that. And this was before the beta even came out. So I was just thinking of ideas that I would like to make in dreams. And, um, I was thinking of making something like that, but then I thought of the idea of if you could rotate the levels in every direction. And then kind of every other design choice came from from that. Um, so in Captain Toad, you're on top of the level the entire time and you're just moving around like a normal kind of platformer. Um, but obviously, if you could move it in every direction, that wouldn't work. So I had to make the character on the side of the cube and kind of turn it almost into a side scroller. Huh. So uh, let me ask. Uh, I'm probably going to ask this for about all of them, but... How long did it take you to make something like this? Like Kubrick? That was, Kubrick was, I think, two and a half months for the final version. I made like a oh. really rough prototype in the <laughs> beta, um, which was very rough. Two but, and yeah. a half months. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you say that like, oh, it took so long to make yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half I, I really, months. I realize now that's nothing. Um, uh, but I think most of my games have taken about three months. Um, geez, like, have have you got any experience outside of Dreams? Because for someone to come into Dreams and make something of the caliber of you know, Great Job Human or Infinity Jump or Kubrick, you know, to make something of that quality and polish within within two and a half three months is ridiculous, in my opinion. To be able to do it at such speed, like, do you, do you have any experience outside of dreams, or have you just really picked up dreams really well? Are you a uh, mole I'm... for medium molecule? That's what we need to know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've, I've literally never made any kind of game or anything like that before dreams. Wow. Um, wow. The closest I've come is like making stuff in like Far Cry map editors and stuff like that, but that's not really comparable. And is is all the stuff you create in dreams? Is that all originally yours or do you tend to, to remix some stuff and I don't know, yeah. maybe remix some logic and stuff or, or is it all completely original? Uh, with Kubrick, I did everything from scratch. Uh, that was kind of, <laughs> <laughs> I set out to, that was my goal for that game. Um, just to see if I could do it. Um, but, but I've gotten a lot, uh, I've relaxed more on that, <laughs> that kind of idea of like trying to do everything myself. Uh, yeah. So I definitely, I definitely use like a lot of community assets for like backgrounds and stuff in Infinity Jump, and mm. um, uh, I, I use certain like community logic uh, assets, but but not much. Wow. Well, for someone of your talent and time frame to deliver, I don't think it's going to be long before Media Molecules on your tail. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I was going to get to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think people, I think people are over exaggerate how often that that happens. Like I know they hire people out of the community, but 
people seem to think that like, oh, if you make a good game, they'll hire you for sure. It's like, no, they they have to have a need for you. Well, <laughs> of, co- of, of course, but I mean, have you seen yeah. their website recently? I mean, they're doing a lot of hiring at the moment, and true, they they they're looking for someone within the creative uh, side of dreams to actually create content for the Dreamiverse. And, you know, when you think about it, they're always going to be doing these updates where they bring out these new packs and stuff with new assets and pre-made logic and different bits and pieces like they've done with the garden pack and the temple pack. You know, if they can hire someone to just sit there on a PS4 all day and do what they love, it's it's easy money. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, if they if they if they offer me a job, if anybody offered me a job making games, I would jump. At the <laughs> uh, but I just I think we all would. I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm not gonna jinx it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, the quality that I'm seeing, and like, I'm not saying, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna come back to that. Let let me go to, <laughs> let me go to something else here. Uh, James, did you? Oh uh... wow, well, yeah. Let me let let me jump in for a minute. Um, I really loved the concept of infinity jump the intro to that game mm-hmm. it's amazing i love how you know you got the two guys in the elevator and they walk to this lab with this massive screen and then it, it you you're actually playing that through like it was very cleverly done i really love the whole concept of you know if you don't succeed try again and um, what what was your inspiration for for that game? Did you always have that idea in mind, or did it just happen whilst developing it? Like what what started everything with Infinity Jump? Uh, the very initial like germ of an idea came from wanting to make a game like Cow Runner, which is also in Dreams. Mm-hmm. Um, I just really enjoyed how simple that game was, but how polished and just how well made it was. So mm. I was I was thinking like I would like to make a game where it's just one button what can i do with that what if you can jump but you can like double jump infinitely and that's your one move and obviously it changed significantly from that i, I added dashes and all kinds of stuff um, but that was the initial inspiration um, and actually another aspect of that game that a lot of people really seem to love the the two scientists watching you as you you play yeah that yeah. was also inspired by another dreams game which is fool ball um, where okay. it's like the little multiplayer game where uh, you're like knocking around like a court jester in the air mm. and then in the background the king and his his court or whatever are watching mm-hmm. and they're like their heads are like watching the the jester fly around the screen and stuff like that and I thought that was just really clever so I wanted to do something like that um, yeah it's, it's kind of odd how how often I'm inspired by other dreams games because I brilliant. Do, Love ever, that. ever since Dreams came out, I don't really play anything else. Mm. <laughs> yeah. so I think a lot of us can agree game. with you there. Yeah. I mean, it's just a real testament to Dreams in itself that someone of like yourself that has had no previous experience in game development before, you know, never delved into anything like it, to be able to go from zero to hero within two and a half months. I mean, it just really does go to show how well thought out and methodical Dreams was created for the average consumer. And you are a living testament that anybody can pick up Dreams and create something amazing. And I just I just love that so much. Absolutely. And I mean, Kubrick was a real struggle to make. Like that was, I was learning Dreams as I was making it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I had to learn like pretty much every aspect of it. Because I mean, I did the music, I did um, all the logic, all the art. Um, and a lot of that stuff is fairly simple compared to what I'm doing now, but, um, it was just such a huge learning experience. And even now, if I tried to make that game, there'd probably be aspects that I'd really struggle with. So I'm Mm. not sure how I, how I did it, uh, as my first game. I mean, I still, I still consider it a pretty janky game. Um, (laughs) but I have no idea how you, how you've done it. I mean, Dreams just, I mean, I'm going to steal Will's uh, Will's um, quote here and say that Dreams blows my mind every day. Yeah. And, you know, things really like the things that you've created in Kubrick, like just the mechanics of how the character freezes in frame whilst it's moving and how the gravity works and stuff. And 
I, I, I just find it mind blowing. It's like, how have you done that? I would love to see a behind the scenes montage video of how that was made from start to finish because it would just be a video of me just raging at my screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you do That's see, uh... but you push through. I mean, like yeah. I mean, to, like to well, speak about some of the other stuff, like before we get back to the ones that I feel like the community knows you, the first real time that I associated your name with a work and don't be offended because everybody knows mighty vicious is still a baby in the dreams community, but he's, he's trying, I'm out here playing games. I'm out here learning, but the first time I really attached your name to anything was the, um, I think it was a few weeks ago you had posted an un and it's in your unfinished game uh piece of your demo that we have playing on screen but it was where you have the person moving throughout like a house and the walls are dropping down so that you can see mm -hmm. where he is in the in, like in the actual um in, in the building and I, I that, once again blows my mind because I have no idea how you would even begin to do that. And it it's like it's actually really funny how how impressed people are by that because it's like the simplest logic you could possibly do in dreams. It's literally just a trigger zone in each room that powers on a keyframe that drops the walls. That's all it is. Okay, I'm gonna let you know because I, I'm I'm thinking maybe you haven't seen or if you haven't seen me talk about logic like I did last week, but see, it's simple to you <laughs> because logic. And the moment I like, I've followed step by step, like tutorials of how logic works and how to get the thing I want, and I still can't do it. So. Like, it's just know that I mean, not trying to make it religious, but just know that you are blessed to understand it in the least. OK, like that is not a skill that everyone has. But yeah, that it may be simple, but damn it, man, that's, that's, that's actually something that I didn't expect um, to enjoy or to be you know, decent at at all uh, when I started dreams is the logic mm -hmm. because. Like I said, I've never like programmed anything. I I have no experience with. I di I didn't play Little Big Planet, so I didn't know the logic from there. Um, and I just assumed like when I got Dreams, oh, I'll probably like I might try to make a game, but I'll probably just do a lot of sculpting and maybe some music and stuff like that because I'm a musician and I've done some sculpting and like VR programs and stuff like that. But mm. um, I actually really enjoyed doing logic and. It's like it's like the best puzzle game in the world. It, it's just it's so so it's open ended puzzles basically. Uh, You're just trying to accomplish a single task, and you have to put all these pieces together to figure out how to make it work. Uh, let me see. Do do they think platformer logic is easy? I I, I mean I don't, but. Uh, Liam in chat says, from my understanding, it seems pretty simple as long as you can animate well. Well, I'm going to tell you, as a person who comes mostly from using my hands, as far as like drawing and stuff goes, like it's not simple. Even, even, even understanding it within the realm of 3D changes everything that I do know. I'm not uh, a, a newbie to animation but within dreams even though it works the same i still have trouble pulling off things what i would consider simple things because there's always a catch when you're working in dreams like it's not as simple you know just as simple as like when i made my short film i didn't realize that that having the like one I didn't realize how the procedurals worked. So I didn't understand that having the procedurals on while trying to animate interfered uh -oh. with the animation. Yeah. And, and so like, I know that now from working with it, but I didn't, but that's a catch. And if you're a person coming over, that's never dealt with game development or within a game engine, really like to that extent, 
That's something you may not know. And you might quit because you're like, ah, this is stupid. I don't know why this works or doesn't work. Um, all I can say is that seeing what other people make has at least made it so that I don't give up, even though I seem to fail at the simplest logic. Like, I still want to get better at it. And, you know, the the first time I made like a 2D guy or a, a 2D mock level where the dude could run across it and it was even and he didn't it wasn't slanted at all. And like he could actually go and jump and traverse this area that I had made. That means a lot to me because I'm going to tell you, I tried to do it before and I'm like, why is he diagonal? Why is why is this <laughs> happening to me? Like you know, it, it's not as easy. It's not as well, easy. As... You know, it's it's an investment, right? It, you know, yeah. it's an investment. No, no different than any other software. With anything new, you've got to put the time in to get the benefit from it. You can't expect to come into dreams just because. Yeah, it's it's a lot more simpler visually and a lot more user friendly than that of a conventional engine, but the principles are still the same as that of a regular engine, especially for the logic side. So unless you put the effort and the time to learn dreams, you're not going to get anything out of it. Exactly. It's, yeah. And I think it all comes down to just game development is hard. <laughs> like even, yeah. even, even a simplified form that, that dreams is, it's still hard. Um, mm. Yeah. There's a lot that can go wrong. I mean, with, I mean, with our project, Dino, that, that we're working on, you know, this, this thing is hard. It's not easy to make, especially yeah. when you're, you know, you've got all these crazy ideas about these different things you want to implement into the game and all these other type of things that I don't want to really talk about right now. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's just like, okay, well, that's a great idea. But in, in, you know, in reality, how does that work in dreams? And then you're like, okay it's going to take six hours just to logic that stuff together. Yeah. So, you know, it, you have to make it, sure that it works properly with all the other logic in the game too. Exactly. It, you know, it's, it's, it's hard work, but like anything, the, the, <laughs> the, the hours you put into it, you're going to reap the benefits from it. And dreams yeah, is it, no exception. It, it for me, well, it, for me, you have to get over the, you have to get over the idea. Well, at least I did that. You know, it's kind of like that whole thing of your your appetite being bigger than your stomach. Oh yeah, I like I'm, that's yeah. A hard way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I jumped in because right now what I'm personally doing is going back through tutorials because when I got dreams, I just wanted to dive straight in to like mm -hmm. character creation and stuff like that. And I was like, ah, my past stuff is going to translate. I'll be fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fine. <laughs> <You're> not <okay. laughs> I'm not okay. And so like, call yeah, basically like, I mean, my, my wife can tell you, like she was sitting there trying, like watching me force pull off some of the things I've tried to do. And she was just like, I don't know how or why you do this. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I showed her the final product and she was like that's awesome and i'm like that's why i do it that's why yeah <laughs> but you have to take me yelling at the wall and, <laughs> and 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 looking like i have so much tension in my in my in my hands that i'm about to snap the ds4 in, in half like that's uh, um, this is part of the process you're alone in that at least <laughs> I'm, well I'm, thank you thank you i'm just i think that's everybody's experience at some point <laughs> oh yeah i'm getting flashbacks right now to early access when i first got dreams i was like yes it's out i'm gonna make this amazing triple a gaming experience it's gonna be so good <laughs> five days in i just wanted to delete dreams i was like nope that's it i'm done i'm finished my appetite was just way too big for my own good. Hence why I have a team now. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let me ask you, let me ask you, Vander. So how, like, or do you have an opus? Is there something that you're working towards that you haven't shown us in your post? Or something? like, is there a, a masterpiece that you have in the background or like media molecule do you have a 10 year plan for 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 your development within dreams uh i don't really have a plan i definitely have 
an idea for a game that I've tried to to start multiple times, um, but then I just determined that uh, just graphically I wouldn't be able to do it to a level that I'd be happy with uh, with the current thermo restriction. Um, it, it's it's basically just it'd be a horror game, but first person, and I don't know that, that I, I tried to avoid the kind of stereotypical dreams kind of flecky look. Mm. Um, and that's a lot harder in first person when you can get right up close and like see all the individual flecks. Yeah. Oh, you are you are so talking my language. <laughs> yeah. So there is there is a horror game that I would like to make eventually. Um, hmm. Someday. Mm, someday. Interesting. Something to look forward to then. So with that, I think we'll go into the, the uh, well, Jamie. Did you did you no. have more you wanted to go into? Oh no, I I am prepared for this section and i'm ready to delve right into it so let's go okay so then we'll use that to go into what i had uh mentioned at the beginning of the show so what are your ps5 hopes and what upgrade do you feel would most benefit you in your projects you're asking me yes uh so i guess it depends on on the time frame we're talking about, um, like I'm not expecting any anything major at at launch. I am. Um, oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'm, thinking, I'm, I'm thinking maybe. Uh, I'm sure we'll get like increased resolution and better frame rates, um, but beyond that, I'm not expecting like any new tools or anything like that. Oh okay. This see, just has a different opinion. <laughs> see, no, no, no. It, it it's it. Let me first say that if I get none of the things that I want. I won't be disappointed. So let me just say that. I'm not trying to set an expectation that has to be met. It's just something that when I sat back and thought about it, I felt like it made sense to me. Because of how long Dreams has been in, like, was in development. It was literally in development from before the PS4 came out (laughs) to almost the end of the PS4's life cycle. And because of that, because it was released when the PS5 was already in sight, I feel like there were things that they wanted to put in, but that the PS4 just could not handle. The As Jamie has told me before, and I agree with him, the fact that Dreams works on PS4 at all is a goddamn miracle. <laughs> yeah. Like, just really, it is. And so, there are things I want, but I feel like at, we've seen how creative they are, Media Molecule, as, 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 as a dev team. We mm. see it every day. I have to believe that there are things that they wanted to put in and just couldn't. And with the oh, PS5, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and because of the things that I can think of as a person who has trouble with all of it, as like because <laughs> I can think of it, I'm just like, they had to have this idea. And, and so it's like, what did they have to hold off? And, I, and for, for instance, like, will Dream's PS5 have, have ray tracing? Oh, my God. It's... It was obviously known to be a thing, and it's something that, you know, it's something that NVIDIA touted when they did the chips for the consoles, and it's something that, you know, RDNA, you know, is is hoping to come into now. And it's like, they knew the specs. They're one of the the home-cooked, you know, dev teams or... Pretty sure the chips in the, the PS5 and the Xbox are AMD. I could be wrong about that. I'm oh no, 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 no! They are, but okay. because Nvidia had the reins on consoles before, before the console, the new, the next gen decided to go with AMD due to their superior seven nanometer TSMC, you know, chipsets. It's it's like they everybody knows that the last thing in graphics that basically people are like is the 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 unicorn is ray tracing one of the mm-hmm. first things playstation touted when they showed anything which was like starting with ratchet and clank was hey you see that ray tracing and, and i'm just like 
So we've known since the uh, the 2000 series of the last NVIDIA graphics cards that ray tracing was the next thing they've been trying to push. So, like, if Dreams had ray tracing, that's big. Does it have to have it? No. But I can't see it not having it because the console itself has touted it. Now, I'm sure all, all that will will eventually come to Dreams. I just don't think it'll be available when the Day PS5 one. launches. No. I mean, can you just imagine the implications that would have on the Fermo? See, but that's why I attach this question to the other question of why Media Molecule has been this this week this week's discussion. I've been in multiple uh, multiple chats for different uh, dream streamers from this It's All Stars. Oh my God! Yo. Okay, we got a we got a follow from King Froggerts. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. And, uh, but yeah, that's I've been in a bunch of different, um, chats and around the community this week. And this week's big question seems to be, like, why are they so quiet right now? And. The only reason I can think of that 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 is is because uh, I don't think they want people waiting for PS5 and to cut down on their player base, like their numbers. Because one of the biggest things that have been going, uh, one of the biggest uh, stats that people have started taking note of in gaming is the player base for individual games. And you see articles being written now as far as how if a if a player base falls in a number like let's say 20 percent for like one day they're like oh oh is it dying is it is it is it dying which was last week's conversation and i have to think that it's because they want to keep it hidden so that people don't go depending on how their upgrade works between consoles they don't want people stepping away from the game to be like, oh, I'm going to wait till they can do that. Then I'm going to come work on this project. It's the only thing that makes sense to me because, you know, I feel like Dreams should be at the forefront of PlayStation's entire marketing. I really do. Okay, but- I, I, agree, I agree with you to a certain degree, but I wouldn't say it should be their forefront. I well we'll talk we'll talk about that but I've been talking for a long time so <laughs> one of you take over with wh- what you think about what I'm proposing well I think I think it's probably simpler than what you're talking about um I think it's as simple as just Sony hasn't given them the the go ahead to talk about it like if you look at all of uh Sony's first party studios other than um, Insomniac, who have like an actual big launch game coming out, none of them has, have talked about upgrades to their games on PS5. So, I mean, I, I don't think it's really on Media Molecule. I think it's more on Sony. And I'm well, sure they have, they have a plan to rule the stuff I, out. They've been I, doing it. On that yeah, specifically, I, the Spider Man they have. Like, yeah, Spider Man. Yeah. The, but that's because yeah. they're promoting a big launch game. Yeah, that is their launch game at the end of the day. I do agree with that. Um, but I, I see where you're going with it, Van, and I, I think I agree with you on that front um, because I was actually speaking to a couple of members from Media Molecule on Twitter a couple of weeks ago, and um, I was discussing a couple of things with them. We chat quite regularly, a couple of the guys from Media Molecule, and there was like, they, we was chatting about a particular subject and there's like, we can't have this conversation any further. We have a massive NDA from Sony right now and with the PS5 launch coming so quickly, we are literally shut off from talking about anything. Yeah. So that's what makes me think that they are, they're working on something big. And I think with the PS5 on the horizon... Not that we're going to get it, but I think they're going to announce... Personally, I think they're going to announce a massive Dreams overhaul. And I think that's going to become a regular thing every year or so. We'll see a massive Dreams overhaul. Where they just add a 
bunch of new features, easier ways to do things than what we're doing them now. Because I've said it before and I'll say it again, Dreams is never going to be a finished product. It's always going to be evolving on top of itself. And that's the only way for this type of game to work is for it to continually evolve with the feedback that they get from their player base. Um, so that's what I think Dreams is doing. I think they're working on something absolutely huge, to be honest. And See, I just think they yeah, have to keep the mouth shut. When they do add specific PS5 features, I'm expecting it to be one big update. Mm, okay. Uh, not just like piecemeal, like, hey, here's ray tracing. Yeah, here's, it's going to be like whatever. the Dreams, the Dream Dreams update or something. Exactly. You know? and, I'm, yeah. and I'm expecting it like months or maybe like a year from, from the launch yeah. of PS5. Yeah. Because I mean, they're still working on multiplayer. And that's, that's yeah. a huge thing. Yeah. And just to touch on what Will said earlier about the player base, I think the problem with the player base is, is it's not necessarily that oh the game is... It's, I don't think it's not necessarily that the game is dying. I just think that there are more people creating and sort of crunching down with developing their games than there are players. And because yeah. there are so many people making games, that leaves very few left to play games. And, you know, we, we see some big games come out every once, every couple of months. You know, you see these small little games come out quite regularly, weekly. But the big games that on Dreams that people like to talk about, they only come out every two or three months. Yeah. And, you know, I've seen some amazing trailers from Dreamscom and haven't seen anything since from these developers, which indicates that they're still working on these games because people have finally... Like, Dreams has finally come to a point now where the communities evolved enough and experienced enough to do what say we're doing where we've built a team to create a game because it's much larger than the ambition of one person and i think dreams has come to a point where there are so many people now that are involved in team projects so that they can work on a larger scale project and i think next year is going to be a big year for dreams because next year we're going to see some heavy games come on to the dream of us i think it's you know it, it for how long dreams has come out by next year how long would have dreams been out by then what two or three years no in I mean, officially, like since the official launch it would have been well the official launch was february this this year I say. Yeah, yeah 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 i'm thinking way back to the to the beta yeah. but but yeah you get beta you get my boy. point no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you get my point though dreams would have been out by next year say middle yeah. of next year dreams would have been out a, a a heavy length of time enough for people to develop these big projects mm -hmm. so in regards to the player base i personally think that's what's happening a lot more people are creating than there are playing i mean i definitely <laughs> agree with that um yeah i'm not sure about uh, uh whether those big projects will you know, actually end up being good, um, like good enough to like attract a bunch of new players and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure they'll be they'll be fun, but um, yeah, it's I don't know, it's so hard to say because I'm not I'm not even sure what their expectations were for Dreams. Um, like I'm sure they didn't expect it to be. I, I'm sure they they knew it was a niche product that they were making. Um, yeah, but they had a niche community though. I mean, yeah. you know, just look at Little Big Planet. I mean, Little Big Planet had over what two, three million levels, was it? Something crazy like that. Little Big Planet had one or two. One of them, yeah. I know, one of one of their games, either Little Big Planet one or two, had like two or three million levels that was user created. So they already had their market there. So I, I think they expected the numbers that they've got, and I, I think they expect it to grow slowly. I think it's going to be like a something that grows on people and i think that's part of their market plan yeah i could, I could see that being the case definitely mm. i just i have to i have to before i say this i think everybody understands that i'm never getting off dreams <laughs> like they, they oh, could not they, they could not <laughs> they could not they could not they could not run me away okay that like i i've already stated that i would pay for it on ps5 again I, oh, I, I think <laughs> I, I think it would be a slight betrayal to the fan base, but I'm willing to do it. And you know what? Betray me, daddy. Betray me. Anyway, 
If there's a um, disclaimer coming, you know something saucy is about to happen. I, no, I just, no, 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 I just, I feel like people, look, 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 look. I started out a project this week where I gave like a little bit of a storyline and people turned my project into like the idea of my project into like Mortal Kombat, which let me tell you, for that project is very oh, that extreme, funny. very that extreme. So what I what I'm saying is, you know, I'm just saying, don't take it further than what I'm actually stating is is there if they don't if they don't or no the best way to put this is <laughs> the best lightly. yeah the best way to put this is is there a possibility that them moving too slow could harm the game when it comes to what it offers in next gen I, it's honestly a question. Hmm. I'm not saying that it that it will or that it, it you know it would. I'm just wondering to myself, with all the things that I've stated as far as how long it was in development, how like when it dropped, in in like in contrast to when the PlayStation Five is going to drop, is there a time where even though we know it's going to be supported by PlayStation? Is there, a to, is there a timetable where it could harm it being too slow to upgrade to these next features, like these next gen features? Because I'm going I'm to tell I, I you. They, I think if they wait like over a year mm -hmm. to add PS5 features, I think, I think a lot of people would be very disappointed. Okay. Okay, um, so I, I take the I the year ish mark on the game, but I mean this this kind of rolls back into the 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 washed out conversation of of splitting the community though, doesn't it? I mean, you could look at it as a way of okay, they're going to give it a year before they add anything massive to PS5's version of Dreams to give the community time to migrate to the new console. But then you could look at it on the flip side and say they could just add features straight away to show the difference in creational tools of in dreams to push people to move forward onto the PS5. And I ultimately think that decision lies with Sony. You know, if Sony has a plan to push dreams in a way that we all hope they do, one would think that they would add features specific to the PS5 to get players to move to that. But that's yeah. specific. But that is specific and specific only to the Dreams player base. And personally, I don't think Dreams' player base is big enough for them to make that kind of move. I, I Look, the thing that got me thinking about all this is I, n no, I never really have time to be at a lot of the Media Molecule streams. Mm -hmm. Um, but I joined one, of uh, two days ago. Was it two days ago? Or was it yesterday? I can't remember. This is how busy I am. Anyway, the point is, um, I asked them, uh, are there any plans to make a, um, how would you say an invisibility slider or opacity, opacity, slider for shapes and they said we there are no plans but we are working on it it's something that's very much demanded by the community and they they said also that the reason they hadn't done it already was because of some difficulties some some technical setbacks and well, I mean, if, if you look at the way dreams works currently if you have a lot of transparency transparencies in your your scene um the frame rate just plummets and that was my argument against it that but, i mean maybe on ps5 that would that be would, such an issue yeah and so like my thought in my mind because i'm currently i i i, I made a huge leap to this this week it's not perfect but i made a huge leap in actually building a character that I've drawn tons of times and like I actually transitioned that style into dreams 
which has been very hard for me. And, and I, I, I accomplished it. I was proud of it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe on the side I should work on doing this little story that I've been cooking up while I'm working with every, you know, a bunch of other projects. And I made this character's UFO. I posted it on, on Twitter for those that didn't see. Um, but I made his little UFO. And I got to the part where I was like, hey, because it's based off of like the old school 1950s UFO with the bulb on top and, you know, the glass dome. Yeah, the string attached, you know, the pre Photoshop era. And uh, (laughs) and um, I was like, wait, how do I make this dome? Now, of course, people are like, oh, you use flex, you paint around the circle and then you blah, blah. I was like, that looks like a snow, like a snowball. Like, a, <laughs> like, like it reminds me of a snow globe. I'm like, no, how do I get clean, clear, like, ha- hit, like half circle glass? And there's not a way to do it. Now, of course, people say that if you, you know, if, for windows and stuff, you can use text boxes and stuff. But that's not, that's not good enough. Yeah. And so it. Make a dome with that. Yeah, so it made me think to myself, like, how long am I willing to wait for that? Like, that specific thing. Because I understand, like, opacity being a, a limiter. But I but I feel like it's something that, sh- like, the idea that that's not in dreams is really weird to me. Like I really, think it's just weird. a matter of the the dreams engine being very unusual. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I mean, obviously, it's not using polygons. It's some sort of weird Frankenstein's monster of like voxels and <laughs> splats and stuff. <whatnot. laughs> yeah. Like, have you yeah. ever watched the uh, Alex Evans talk talking about the engine, how we, how it was created? Um, it was like from years and years ago before long before dreams released i feel um, like i did but i do not remember anything from it it's actually it's very interesting um and i'm not going to pretend to understand everything that was going on <laughs> uh, <laughs> not Alex Evans. but uh yeah it's definitely worth checking out if you want uh, more more information about how the engine works and i think even that's kind of outdated uh with how it finally ended up being but uh, still interesting Yep. But I mean, Eddie, Eddie makes a very good point, though. I mean, he says that the PS4 CPU is seven years old and was not built to handle the bubble bath engine in the first place. So, I mean, you know, that that's a very good point when it comes to this opacity issue. You know, we, we it say that we're on previous. current, you know, we're, we're saying we're on current gen at the moment, but current gen right now is seven years old. You know, it's so behind in regards to the technology that's available today. I just go back to what I originally said, that it's an absolute miracle that it even works in the first place. Oh, yeah. And and like I said, don't like let's not read further than what I what I stated. (laughs) You can't you they could like I'm talking about they could have a real scandal. okay? and it's still going to be like, but did the scandal happen to me? So, <laughs> you know, it's going to take a lot to get me off dreams, but it felt, it felt Turns so. Out media molecule are all cannibals. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> yeah, you know, and yeah, you're right. The architecture is archaic, but that leads even further into what, what I, what I was saying before as to why I feel like there is like, I feel like they, you know, they have to have something, something that's held back. That's just like, mm we going to get them day one. Like, even if it's not some huge upgrade, like maybe if it's not the mother of all upgrades, that's going to capture all of the power of the PS five in one go. I feel like even if it was little things that they could just be like, Hey, take that for now, just to show you. Suddenly ran at 60 frames per second. That would be pretty huge. I mean, that would make a huge difference to how the games feel, how the games look. Um, it depends though on technically speaking that would work but i think that would only work if they bring out a ps5 version of dreams because if the game is running through backwards compatibility like the rest of the ps4 titles unless they get a specific ps5 release 
say like the 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 Spider-Man game is getting a specific PS5 release. If if it's a backwards compatibility version that we're going to be running, then that won't be possible because like oh. someone just mentioned in chat, I assume that Dreams has a locked frame rate. It doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, no, definitely not. Okay. Um, especially the games that you make in Dreams do not have locked frame rates. Uh, I definitely ran into that problem with Infinity Jump, trying to keep the, the frame rate above 30 as much as possible. Um, that's... Oh, well, but if I, that's I, the case, I think, then... I think actually Alex Evans said once on some stream that Dreams basically runs as fast as it can at any given time. Um, well, <laughs> it depends on how, how strenuous it is. The, well, the, if that's the, if the that's the case, you're going to see a massive difference in Dreams day one on the PS5 that, because your frame rate is going to jump incredibly. Yeah, I and, mean, if and, you look at the difference between a PS4 and a PS4 Pro, the performance is yeah. Crazy. I mean, they won't. They don't even need to touch it for it to make a huge difference. Exactly. Before right. they even before they even optimize the game, even if, even if all they did was um, make Dreams run the way. It does on a PS4 as if it was in resolution mode and in frame rate mode because it mm. gives you two options. Um, that would be a huge help. <laughs> That'd be amazing. See, and this is why we come back around to what I was talking about of why I think Dreams should be at the forefront. Because when I say upgrades, like I really do think it's because they don't want people waiting for a better version. Or for a better upgrade, unless you're Ledbetter, who has his 150% yeah. thermo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, because if y'all have seen the thing he put out uh, on Twitter, where he was, was like insane. plugging in things to not max thermo, or to max thermo, but then still be able to keep his elements, that scene was beautiful. But, yeah. but like, I, I, the reason I feel it should be at the forefront is because, as we've talked about before, this grows outside of dreams and just to show what people have created already. I, I, I know it blows my, my simple Neanderthal mind, but at the same time, I feel like other people just have not seen it. Like the fact that I, for instance, I don't really watch IGN or their reviews or anything like that. Um, but their talk shows where they talk about things, the idea that dreams doesn't come up more in their shows makes me angry mm. because well, they'll talk back to the, the idea that dreams is a niche product. Um, like, I don't, I don't think it's really a mainstream thing, um, but I think it could be. And that's the, that's the thing. Like we've accepted it as this niche group. But I think especially when everyone's trapped at home, for instance, I have a friend who is an artist who played Little Big Planet and had no clue that dreams existed. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, there is, I mean, there is definitely an exposure problem. That uh, is yeah. that's a problem. Well, yeah. let's, just, and, let's just all agree here that, you know, the whole marketing side of dreams is is terrible anyway. They, they could have done a m much better job at marketing dreams and continue to market dreams than the way they have. Yeah. And I feel like even if they confirmed anything, I think like even I, I know like, but the, like everyone says like Ledbetter brought up a, a, about 10 minutes ago in chat, uh, in chat world that, uh, he was like, you know, just having more thermo is going to be great. And I'm like, yeah, but have, do you know, there's going to be more thermo? Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing. Mm -hmm. We don't know anything. And I understand Sony might be, yo, play it to the chest. Like, you know, we, we, we don't we can't say anything just yet. But then it sets the precedent to what if it releases day one and there's not more thermo? How are you going to feel about that? Yeah, I mean, they have to address it at some point before before launch. They have. To. Yeah. Yeah. They've got to say I, something. I, I'm just not worried about it right now. I, I think they still have a month. They just they just revealing the UI now, so obviously they're on a kind of different timetable than the rest of us, <laughs> where we're yeah, all very excited about the new thing and we want to know everything about it. 
and, and that's the thing with with Sony in general. I mean, let's just look at the whole hype train up to the PS5. They haven't exactly been very open with us in, in exactly. what we're going to be getting. And that's with their console, let alone a first party studio. Yeah. You know, I don't, think Dreams don't is on the back right now. Every other first party studio was like talking about what they're doing with their, their existing games and how it's going to be improved on PS5. And then Media Molecule was just completely silent. Then I'd be worried. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. but that's not happening. Like everybody's not, silent. Even if it so was I'm, not I'm really like, not again, even if nothing happened, I'd still be there for it oh, every absolutely. day like i am but it just worries me because we are sensible beings here all of our chat and the, the dreamers we're sensible beings but there's always that group <laughs> and i feel like because of the press no fluffy you're one of them no anyway so i feel like there's like there's going to be a group and that group is going to be real loud that if something doesn't, that if more isn't expressed, because like I said, don't even get me started on Sony. I don't understand how people are paid as much money as they get paid in that company. And this <laughs> launch is happening like this. I'm going to have it. They, I know I'm not the guy they're worried about, but I'm the guy that's going to have it no matter what. Dreams solidified my purchase of a PS5. But... Yeah, but it, I, I don't need to go into that. Let me just stop there because I'll, I'll leave that for another show. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I just feel like if something was going to give it all away, I feel like it would have been dreams out of everything they have because of the perception that y'all have explained of like, it's dreams. It's but that's an, the thing, like, isn't it, it? I mean, dreams is so unique towards consoles i mean they have something so unique that the competitors don't have they can literally market it as the one and only console that has a user specific game creation tool for it built for it and yet they don't shout about it and I, it confuses me as to why they don't sony does that all the time they'll put years and years of work into a product and then just not promote them at all it makes no sense at all to me. yeah i know but with dreams though i still feel that it's it's different because this this gen that's coming out you know this next gen i've never seen a generation where people are so much more on the fence with what they're going to be purchasing i mean you always get your fanboys and fangirls that are going to buy the product that they've been supporting because they either follow team blue or team green but in regards to the casual consumer I have never seen a generation where people are so on the fence with what console to get because both sides are doing so much to try and win the competition this time. And they're both very good. I mean, look at the Xbox One when that was first announced. It was absolutely terrible. That's why PlayStation 4 did so well. Yeah. But this time, they've both got a very good standing in the ground with their consoles. So they need to push the niche stuff to say, yeah, okay, Xbox does this, but PlayStation's the only the only console experience that you can create games on. You know, and the fact that they don't do that just blows my mind. I'm like, you've already got it. You've invested in it. You spent however much you've spent on it, 10 years worth of development, and you're not using that as an asset towards your next generation of consoles. But I think it goes back to Dreams being a niche product. Like, how how do you promote that to a mainstream audience who who don't want to put in work to make a game? They don't want to spend Doesn't matter. Promote, it, pr promote it. Promote it as a nonstop source of free indie games. Forget mm. that. It even matter. even for now, just for now, even if it does plan to be monetized, like if there is a monetization, we've beaten that ad nauseum. But like, if it, it like the way I would do it is literally because as i've pointed out before like the big the least used like genre of gaming is educational gaming if you have a child that is creative and you don't and you have a ps4 and they don't have dreams you're doing it wrong that that's how i would attack it 
Because just the stuff like like you said, you had never built a game before. You jumped into this game and you're creating things that someone should be paying you. That's how I feel about your work. Yeah, yeah someone should I be agree. paying you. I so right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If y'all are out there, <laughs> do you as much money as you can pay the man? Because that's the thing. It's like with like that's how I feel like it should be marketed. Is that you? Okay, you might not be getting Call of Duty, you know, but at the same time. Everybody knows that one of the biggest demographics of gaming that has been growing for the last decade is indie games. And then you have Xbox, which is literally throwing, I think, their biggest play that they're making or the biggest byproduct of the play that they're making is that they are actually trying to attack the Sony market in Japan. And I haven't heard anyone talk about it yet because... Yes, mm -hmm. I think yeah. so, because if the biggest thing about yeah. their whole Game Pass thing is that you can play it anywhere. The biggest one of the biggest markets of gaming in Japan has always been handheld. That's why Nintendo cannot die like ever. <laughs> <laughs> but now but now you have but now you uh, have Xbox and they're like, hey, play it on your phone. Hey, yeah, play it, it's very play it on, play it on mean, your tablet, play it on whatever I'm, you have. I, I think yeah. an uphill battle trying to sell like, Xbox or, or even their their uh, Game Pass or whatever you want to call it um, in Japan. See, well, I mean, he makes a great point though. I mean, did you know that the PS Vita is still a massive console in Japan? It's it's still massive. They are still developing games for it, exclusive to Japan. Oh, yeah. Wow. And and they I just and they I just feel them. like if somebody has the option, like for me, I'm not getting an Xbox. That and it's not because I'm a PlayStation fanboy. It's because I <laughs> I have a gaming PC and I can get. And if they come out with a first party game that's worth my money, I can pay five dollars to get Game Pass on my PC. Done. That's it. I don't need. I don't need their. Yeah, I don't need their console for that. So. But if they're not going to release Bethesda games on on the PlayStation, I'll, <laughs> I'll build a gaming PC. I'll yeah, use it for all kinds of shit. Yeah, so for me, it's just like, but you know, to get back to the main point, indie games and have grown exponentially, and they literally have an asset that builds indie games daily. Yeah. So so you might have. I mean, Something like Among Us or Fall Guys could easily be made in Dreams. Yeah, mm. Fall Guys has been yeah. made in Dreams by Wuxi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. The only thing it needs is the multiplayer, which they're exactly. already working on. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, for me, I just, I, I feel like, I, I get it. My my argument has, has basically been boiled down to there's multiple facets of everything that need to be worked on, period. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I just feel like I I I, I don't think well, Dreams let's, is let's, dying. Let, yeah. Let's put it in sim simple yeah. terms. Dreams yeah. has Dreams literally, in my opinion, has the ability to turn this generation. It really does. It has the potential there. It's just whether or not Sony's going to use it is the issue. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with Media Molecule. I think they it are has a the potential, but I think that's an unlikely scenario like I, I could see it being like suddenly becoming huge if there's like some um like extremely popular multiplayer game that that suddenly comes out on dreams and everybody wants to check it out but like i don't i don't see it like turning the tide in the the console wars if you want to call it that see like i agree with jammy uh, not just because he's my co-host, but I, <laughs> but but I agree with Jamie only because if they had better marketing, there'd be more players. Agreed. If they had more oh, players, yeah. they'd have more creators, and if they had more creators, we'd have more content. And each thing that exists within Dreams already has a set niche social aspect. Like people make it, even the people making memes that that Jamie loves to roll his eyes. There he uh, goes. He's rolling them. He's rolling them. 
I slid as soon as I said it. Um, even they have a piece because the thing is, is people I've seen people make memes and put them on YouTube and have massive views and people get caught up on what was used to make them. Like it's, it's the same as the whole meme template. So if you have, like, these are all things that if Sony pushed each individual asset of the cre- of the, the Dreamiverse into something, then it definitely could crush. But people don't know it exists. So you're saying you want them to, to push dreams as a meme creator? <laughs> no, I'm, I, I, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that if, I, I mean, I know Jamie's going to, his face is going to go beat red. But all I'm saying is don't turn away a demographic that already exists within your platform. If it's going yeah. to exist, and it is because it, because it's an, it's an asset archive, it's going to exist whether we like it or not. Yeah. And, and just like Dreams as it, you know, itself, because this focus isn't being put on Dreams – to push it out to more people, it's not. It can't grow to what it. We all know it could be. Bottom line, we all know that this could be, as it is in my mind, the greatest thing ever created on a gaming console. I truly believe it. I mean, to me, it already is. Yeah, like I said, to, like I said, to me, it is because it's exactly what I've been asking for. For a decade and a half, literally a decade and a half, I'm like, hey, what if we had educational gaming that actually made it so people didn't have to go to school for 12 years to actually create anything? Like you just jump in, you give everyone the tools, the community builds within itself, and then you create this thing. Like that's how the Dreams universe started, will grow, and will be. But it won't be if they don't, put the necessary focus on what it is and what it is is possibly the greatest the greatest piece of software ever released on a console they need they just need they need to let people know that it's free money but you have to consider as well that dreams is like eddie mentioned just in chat a minute ago that dreams is really in its infancy it's on like year one out of ten they, you know, they they have this ten year plan in place, and it's quite evident everybody knows that there is a full decade plan for Dream. Well, in my mind, in my mind, I mean, it's I'm, year eight. <laughs> and I think it's important to note that, like, a lot of games have plans for the future if they're successful. Yeah, like they're not going to keep iterating on Dream for ten years for like a thousand people. Yeah. True. So they need to they need to start doing something. And I'm not even saying, you know, I'm not talking about the updates for PS5 anymore. I'm just saying, like, they really need to go hard in the paint, if you will. They need to put this out to every like hell do something like once the world is back to normal, because I truly believe some of this can be blamed on our current situation within the world. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and Joe said it in chat just now, and I believe this. Let's be honest. Dreams Year One is better than Unity Year Five. Like <laughs> it, I mean, there's a there's there's a lower ceiling for accessibility. There just is, and that can be, God, that can be mined. It it really, it really does frustrate me thinking not that they not because dreams. You'll call it in its infancy. I'd say it's still year eight because it's been in development so long and I've known of it so long that I feel like, yeah, I just can't call it year one personally. But, and for people that were in the beta and early betas and, you know, over at Media Molecule checking it out, like, but I just feel like it, it, it upsets me more and more daily that I understand if you can't show the, heights of it of its of the, or the you can't make people see where you're going overall but i don't think people are seeing what it's capable of now the dreams community is like we are definitely 
Yeah. But mm. outside of that, the fact that more people, like I said, you go back to the IGN thing. The fact that IGN isn't talking like they should have, because you know they like to catch on to the niche of whatever. The fact that they don't have a thing like most people are doing, or a lot of people are doing, where they take the content of dreams and then just like top five dreams of the week. The fact that the fact that they aren't doing that, and the that fact Sony that doing that is because they're not getting paid. See, but. Oh, why? <laughs> but they but they but they have but they already well I don't know how much that applies to it only because of I mean they have talk shows all the time and not all of them are about stuff that I would think they'd necessarily get paid for like I don't think I don't think a science journal paid for them to talk about the how humans are evolving to have smaller mouths and bigger foreheads. Like, I don't think anyone told them to, <laughs> to talk about that. And so, and so, me a link that <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just saying I like know. overall, I'm, I mean, to be fair, the, humans are evolving to look like exactly what we have always shown aliens to look like as far as the gray alien. That's where we're going. So, Look it up. Anyway, the point is... I know some people I, that are a little further along in that evolution. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> don't we all? But, um, but, yeah, it's just like the fact that they don't have a show like that or that Sony doesn't have a little partnership forcing a show like that is mm-hmm. just, just upsetting mm-hmm. to me. That's all. That's all I really want to get. We're gonna really want to get out. Is that I get that you, it can't be as big. That it can't be as big as it is to us currently. But I see no movement to make it as big as the community sees it, and that's a little frustrating. So that that's yeah, yeah. I'll end that point. That's your passion I, really shows here. For that, dreams. <laughs> I, hey, and that's what it is. It's out of love. It's like I love this so much. Why can't everybody love it? <laughs> yeah, like, and, and but the thing is, is it's not even why can't everybody love it. It's like why can why aren't they being given the chance mm. to love it? Like, I mean, there's only so many giveaways we can do. There's only so <laughs> like, like like there's only so many people we can interview. I mean, not really. We still got a lot to get through, but like yep. you know. But still, it's like you know. Yeah, thank you, Zypher. I mean, if they hired me, like, look, Sony, if you're listening, Sony, if you're listening, Media Molecule, if you're listening, if you need a a, a very eager black preacher. To sing the hymn of dreams <laughs> on the interwebs, Mighty Vicious, aka the Sam Jackson of dreams, is here for you. For you, I will do it for you. Can I get an I amen? To, I want to see an ad that's just you screaming at the camera. <laughs> Jimmy, you play it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Buy dreams, motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, I mean. I'm just saying, like, I really, like, yeah, I've, I've, I've beaten it ad nauseum at this point. But, yeah, it's just I obviously love it a lot. I obviously want to see it reach the heights that I know it can reach with just a little bit. Like, just give me, just be like, hey, we put, it. this is how I feel. I feel like they have put less than a thousand dollars into the marketing of dreams. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Like all the money was in spin and I get it. It is all that money over seven years of development and all this stuff. Like, I get it. I get it. But I feel like I shouldn't be sitting here thinking like, yo, I think they spent like a thousand dollars. Like <laughs> like I think I could afford their marketing campaign. And I just it's such a f- I'm I'm curbing my language. <laughs> but it's it's such it's it's honestly such a disservice to something mm. so great. And uh, ah, yeah. uh, I just I get it. We all get it, man. We all we all get it. We're all here with you. We're all on the same page. But I'm gonna tell you, if you don't let me make things freaking, if you don't give me the opacity on a shape, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into the devil of dreams real quick. But no, it's just. 
No. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I just uh, you you get it. You get it. So I'll let you I'll let y'all take over for beer. I I've 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 blown it out. <laughs> I just, I just, God damn it. I just really want it to be great. <laughs> that was such a rough. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Whew. That was a, that, that was that was quite heavy, man. That was quite heavy. I mean, but, did, but does anyone disagree? No. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what we need to do, so what we need to do, I'm back. I, I, what we need I, to do I, is that somebody I, get in touch I, I, with, I with like media. Gonna start, you know, going out with, with flyers and stuff to the streets, like play dreams, play dreams, play dreams. I, you know, if I honestly thought, it, around, spinning it around. look, I have brought, uh, I have brought about 15 people to dream so far. I'm out here as a PR rep, <laughs> not getting paid. Okay. This is how much I believe in uh, dreams, but it's just, look, we need to have media molecule. I need to have Abby on here. <laughs> That's the bottom line. I tell, somebody, I know one of y'all out there know Abby. I love her. She made a funny ass post that made me cry laughing. Like, Right before the show, about a a a dead rodent in in a garage, it was hilarious. Somebody tell Abby, the dreams evangelist. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll be that dude. <laughs> but somebody tell Abby we need to get her on here. Abby and Kareem. Oh I need I, I need good. both. I need both at oh. once. So I can have the PR aspect as well as the, hey, just shit on me within five seconds of touching a controller. Like, I need that <laughs> d- dynamic within the same podcast. Uh-oh. But, yeah. Anyway. 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 That would James, be the episode. My God. Can you imagine having Amy and Kareem on at the same time with you it, going on about this opacity feature? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it at, Kareem? No. <laughs> Got got time to do interviews, but I ain't got my opacity. No, I'm just... <laughs> it would either be the greatest episode or the end of our episode, <laughs> the series finale that we didn't know was coming. That would be that would be it. So... Oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, we do. I really do want to talk to Media Molecule because I really do want them to hear this, to hear these 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 reactions in my throat bursting from my mind grapes. You know, I I need them to understand that this is how I feel and all, (laughs) and and that I know they feel the same way. So let's, Um, let's, you know, let's, let's touch each other's lobes and let's get the message out there. Let's do this. Let's do this. Dreams is the best game of next gen of next gen and, and 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 that is the goal we need more people to actually be at the uh, end of next gen when we're getting the ps6 when uh, we're getting the ps6 i want them to be like yo the best game of last gen was dreams and it was a ps4 game i that's what i that's what i want i'm sorry i'm still caught up on let's touch each other's lobes yeah <laughs> caress each other's mind grapes make a nice fine wine and then we just preach it to the masses we give it communion to the masses okay that's that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying okay my eyes are a little big i looked at myself and see i've started to morph into this yeah. the actual morph into the dreams evangel <laughs> evangelist so let me let I'm me pull right now but i'm picturing you just dripping with sweat <laughs> Hello, <laughs> let me do that. <laughs> like i just i okay let me oh my let me, god let me are, let me w- you are on fire today i just i, I yeah, i'm yeah, i'm done <laughs> That's, i don't want to start back up i will i will but i don't want to start back up i just look look let's is there anything else out there that people have um, been wondering well let's see i'll clip it and tweet it and tag them or send it to the hey Eddie, get on it, get on it. Put us out there, bro. Let's touch each other's mind grapes. Hey, hey that we will be coming out with merch very soon, and on that show we will take clips from the show, have them yeah. on the shirts. So this is this is the plan. Because you know why? Because if if you take away anything 
I'm back. If you take away anything from today's <laughs> episode, today's today's episode is get it out there. Oh my like, god! Pe- like, pe- look, man. Look, 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 look. I, When it comes down to, oh. is that we as the Dreams Army need to start taking scalps? Okay, that's <laughs> it's. It, we've gone militant now. It's militant now. We need to let. We need to start putting people on notice. Oh my god! And by on notice, I don't mean death threats. Don't be doing that dumb shit that people do in the gaming community. Oh. I ain't talking about that kind of notice. I mean, just, 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 just throw your heart out there onto the, the, you know, into the chats and on the threads, and just be like, look, guys, look, guys. There's this like super irate black guy like screaming about dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, by the time this, by the time this episode reaches Spotify and it's been out for a week, we're going to see like a twenty five percent increase in play rate on dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will become They're the commander. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! He said he was going to come to my house if I didn't play. <laughs> you got a bayonet? Yeah, <laughs> a bayonet. <laughs> Coming with that hear ye hear. Ye, that's what we do. Uh, <laughs> so, look, uh, we, uh, we we get it. That's all I'm saying. We get it, and we, it's time we we need to make other people get it. Okay, even if that means Sony, need to make them get it because they may they may be like, oh yeah, this is a great project. Let's throw money, money, and it, you know, I'm gonna need them to do a little bit more. That's all I'm saying. And if and, and and if Media Molecule needs me to go to Sony to talk to them about how they should be handling this, I'll do it. That's all I'm saying. I, My I invitation is out love there. You. We should definitely get him on the show. I think he'd hire you straight away to be the spokesperson for Dreams. <laughs> oh, it's just I, too much. I think I'm too violent <laughs> for the internet. <laughs> 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 like, I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I, if, but if they need me, I'm on call. I'm on call. All my contact information is up on the interwebs. So, because I don't care. If somebody needs to find me, they can find me. But Everyone at Media Molecule is blocking you right now. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. That's why I said we're not even going to make it to the episode with Kareem and Abby. <laughs> They're going to hear this and be like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> this, this guy's out of control. We, what, what is his name so we can take him out of dreams before he turns into a goddamn fanatic? <laughs> Uh, give him that uh, black snake moan eyes. If y'all know, if y'all ever saw that movie with Sam, said the one used for the memes with Samuel Jackson, where it's just yeah, just crazy, just crazy eyes. Just I'll go talk to Sony for you. No, uh, <laughs> no, thank you. I'm glad you could join me for this meeting. And they're like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Oh funny. yes, I I saw it. it. I saw he's it. Like, he's like, "Hello, Sony. I'm the official, unofficial spokesperson for Media Molecule." <laughs> so, look, all I'm all I'm saying is, I want Abby and I want Kareem and I want them on the same episode. And we're I gonna, I, it, I personally don't think they could handle you. <laughs> I really don't. I'm barely handling you. I'm barely. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, let me. Let me calm it down. Let me bring it back to a, a base here. Let's see. Now that we're all civilized human beings here, let's just uh, have a good old well, conversation. Too much work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, well, let me bring it back down then. <laughs> let me personally just, just mellow it down. down. Mellow it out. Mellow it out. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. You all agree with me. You all agree oh, with yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So 100%. that's as long as I can walk away with that, I'll have something for today, and then I can go back to sleep <laughs> because I don't, I didn't get enough sleep last night, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know God. it's becoming a thing, but it it happened to me, and so this is this is what you get. I'm really passionate about a lot of stuff right now. That's that's all it all it comes down to. Until I turn on dreams after the podcast, in which case I'll try to make something, and then. 
we go back into me turning into the Hulk and breaking the wall out of the side of my home. <laughs> Cause I can't do the simplest thing anyway. Anyway, look, I, I, I I'm sorry. I went on that tirade. I, I no, hope I didn't no, uh, turn I, anybody I just, off. I, I personally enjoyed every second of it. Me too. It, it's Good. been a highlight of my very shitty day. So <laughs> Really good, good, good. Because I, you know, I'm just not trying. I'm just not trying to come off. I'm just. I'm trying not to come off as a as as an angry black man, but just a passionate black man. Okay, <laughs> like you know, like there's nothing, nothing to be, no anger here. It's just passion uh, and the want to see people succeed. Dreams is like my is 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 like my significant other, okay? Like you know when you get that thing where like you your significant other says that they want to do something and you want to be super supportive of them to make sure they achieve that dream. That's how I look at dreams. Where it's like, yes, this is something that I love and I want to see it grow. And it will. It will. Like even without them hiring me. As a spokesperson, it, <laughs> it, it, it will. It just it it just won't have the zazz that I can bring. <laughs> it it won't have the actual dictatorship that comes with me. <laughs> Buy it for your kids, it, like it's just, you know. But anyway, feel anyway. my zazz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, feel my zazz. <laughs> Speak, speaking of a dictatorship, though. Oh no. <laughs> oh no I'm I've done it. Yeah. No, no 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 I'm going into something positive wouldn't it be cool though if the, if the PS5 came with dreams as like okay so you have the console now have the ability to make the games for the console dreams should have been the UI dreams should have been the UI I don't know dreams UI is uh Oh no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Like think of a blend. Like th- th- okay, first of all, let's all agree I think we can all agree that PlayStation has not had the best UIs. In in No. Yep. Yeah. Van, do you feel the same? Uh I don't know. I find it functional. Like, but do you enjoy it? I'm not enjoy- a big fan of I don't know if I enjoy any UI. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, there's there's nothing better than like I did. I, I go ahead. Oh, no, I I went from what 360 to PS4, and I didn't think the UI on 360 was particularly like better than than what we have on PS4. Mm. It's 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 all just fine. Like it, it does it doesn't it's not terrible. It's not great. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, see, you see, I think that's where the PS5 UI is going to real kick in. I think it. I think they've made some real positive changes to the UI, and they've actually made it. They've actually made it a user interface for once. I mean, let's be honest: the PS4 menu isn't exactly a UI. It's pretty much squares, and that's all you get. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, whereas with the PS5 menu, it is super tended to the user experience more as opposed to the user interface the, the user interface has become the user experience and i love that i just say i i never used to grade uis i felt all of them was like yeah it works but yeah. then i came but then i ran into the prime video user interface and it made me start really like paying attention and like grading them mm. and and playstation is functional like the uis for three and four they functioned mostly mostly and but i think the ui does set the tone for people wanting to come into it more like i don't watch a lot of things on prime video because the ui is just so garbage so like if it can have that reaction then if we had a mix of like, and I've talked about what I wanted the UI to be for next gen consoles before, but you know, if you turned it on and you went into the screen that we all come into when Dream starts, where you have your home place, but you also had the ability to pull up those cards that they showed and the UI with that screen in the background, that would feel great to me. Where I could 
Dreams so you would be... Want, you want a physical, playable UI. Yes, I always have. I, I don't think most people want that. I think they no. just want functionality. Yeah. They just want to get into whatever game they're playing. Yeah, you see, um, I agree. I, I wouldn't want a playable UI at all. I have to wonder why and if I can badger you into seeing it my way. No, I'm just like, no, I just, no, I just wonder why, because if it was the same that we're getting with the PS5, the only difference is, is that you had a home space that you yourself could customize in the background. How would you not want that? And I ask that honestly, not as like a, your idea is wrong. It's more just a, like, I'm thinking of the home space and I'm like, well, because it it doesn't matter. That's the reason why. I mean, are you trying you to say dreams your... doesn't matter? No, I'm trying to say a playable UI on the PS5 doesn't matter. I mean, for dreams it works, sure, because dreams is all about creativity and and building stuff. But I mean, when you boot up a PS5, you don't you don't go on there to play with the menu. You're going on there to play a game. But and if the to... menu was a game that you also enjoyed playing, what's wrong with that? I just don't see it working. I just don't get it. It just doesn't work in my eyes. Like, you know, mm. you just need a, a good function menu. I mean, the thing that excites me the most about PS5's new, U, new UI is not its home screen. It's its, like, control center thing. That's what I like the most about the new UI. Is and, the interaction... For me, about how fast it is just to get into games. So mm. I'm not trying to, like, linger on the menus on the yeah. UI. I'm just trying to get into whatever game that I'm playing at that moment. Um, I mean, the whole the whole interactive UI thing works for Dreams because it's Dreams. It would be stupid not to have a physical playable menu system. They would have really missed the mark if they didn't do that. But as a as a PlayStation's actual home screen, I really don't see where a playable, customizable, like where you can build a UI kind of thing. I don't. I just don't see it working. And I think there is like a segment of the player base that would enjoy that, but I don't think it's yeah. significant enough to make it worthwhile yeah. to, to build exactly. the entire UI around. What it. if what if it was what if it was set up and I know initially I'm gonna hear something about what I'm about to say, but hear me out. Okay. What if it worked kind of like uh Windows eight point one? where you have the UI background, like the, the playable UI background, or you could choose to just have a normal one. Would that, well, would, just, would that make you hurt. It wouldn't hurt to have it. Yeah. Because, you know, but it's not something I'm going to rave about. I mean, like, that, oh, actually, this is, has a playable yeah, UI. It's amazing. Home, right? I would, kind of apply that. See, but PlayStation Home was garbage. Dreams isn't. <laughs> Like I, I mean, I hate to put it that blunt. But... <laughs> I never actually tried PlayStation Home, so I, I don't know. But PlayStation Home was an, the beginnings of an idea that never got fleshed out. Yeah. Dreams, yeah. in the way I think of it as the UI, would be the idea fleshed out. Like that's what it is. I mean, that's kind of what the home space is in Dreams already. Yeah. So I, I would don't you like dare trash PS Home. Spicy waffles, don't you start. You do, you know PS Home was garbage. Don't you don't you come here facing the dreams evangelist. <laughs> no, but um yeah, so go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I, I interrupted. I think it would be cool to integrate dreams into the, the UI somehow, but not not that to that extent, I think. Mm. I think like maybe if you had like, hey, this is uh the the MM pick of the week or whatever, and that shows up on your main dashboard and you can just play yeah. it without even owning dreams. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. That would be cool. I mean, because with those new playable I, cards. The way, I see Dream, the way I see dreams is it's not particularly a game. It's a, a feature of PlayStation. And if they did something like that, where there was like, cause like PlayStation's got this new card system, hasn't it? Like, you know, the PS five, it's all cards. So they should really have, like you said, like a pick of the week or a game of the week or whatever card pre-installed on the ui so that it's always there to show that this is a feature of playstation it's not just a game it's a feature yeah yeah i think that'd be cool 
So, uh, Joe Vanicon said in chat, it would be really awesome to have cards on dreams so you can instantly go from play mode to dream surfing or your latest projects. Agreed. That is mm. that that would be amazing. And I hope that's what or that I hope that's how their new function is integrated into the uh, into the UI. Because that would be that that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I'm st- I can't believe I can't believe the the playable UI was just turned away like that. <laughs> I need I need Kareem and Abby to come on here and tell me that I'm right. <laughs> be like, yeah, dude, we wanted to do it, but they were like, nah. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know what else they're hey, about? It, it, but anyway. So, um, but yeah, cause I, I just, I really feel like that if a playable UI, I really feel like it is the future because this is the second time that you brought up PlayStation home. When I brought up my playable UI idea, jammy. I don't appreciate it because we all know PlayStation Home sucked. <laughs> you, you're trying to paint me. I brought it up first. <laughs> it, see, see, it's spreading over them. You're making our guests turn against me. No, the point. All I'm saying is, I really do feel like the playable, the playable UI is the future because I believe that everything that has become big in in games, period, benefits from having that playable ui so let me ask you this what exactly would you do with the playable AI, uh, ui would you just decorate or i would or make what? the I, I would make it so that, okay so i'll give you the whole the whole pitch of what i had proposed okay because before i said to put it into dreams i was saying that when you turn on your console you should load into a server and in this server you have hubs like you you have an apartment which would be your like your home screen whatever and you can go you can huh what you say not your playstation home no not your playstation home okay not your playstation home i uh, just see you're trying you're trying and i'm not <laughs> i don't appreciate it but i love you for it the point is uh you start there and let's say you wanted to leave your home. You you know, you leave the home. You're in it could be as simple as a city or it could be as simple uh, like a small city or it could be as simple as simple, like as simple as a city. Yo, you I mean, so hey, simple. <laughs> as fast as PlayStation is right now and as powerful as it's going to be, it would be simple. How much does it buy to uh, how much does it cost to yeah, literally to literally buy the structure of a 3D city. Yeah, but don't you think that's going to make handling the menu like complicated? So you have to go to different no, no, no. buildings. Could, no, different no, 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 no. You don't have to. Like... You can do it all from your home. But let's say you like if because I know someone said last time I was talking about this, that I was talking about VR chat. I am talking about VR chat, only not a cesspool. And so <laughs> basically. <laughs> You load into this, you can do everything from your home and home screen, but you can also be like, I want to go to the multiplayer cafe. The I'm just throwing out random shit, but multiplayer cafe. And you basically go there. You have the games that you can go through. Maybe there's an arcade there. There you can go into smaller chat rooms where you could talk to people to Work, it's basically adding more of a, co- a conversational and social aspect to the home screen so that it becomes, it can be just a UI, but it can literally be, I guess, the next stage of, I know somebody's probably going to bring up Second Life by the time I'm done with this, but basically it could be that a new breakthrough to where you have the entire PlayStation community able to talk with each other. And converse and learn things about each other. Like it creates a closer knit community because you can do more than just either be either someone talking about your mom being, you know, something or another in chat on a random voice com or like you can speak with like minded people. 
And you say you, it sounds. You are, you are literally explaining PlayStation Home. <laughs> yeah, but 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 <laughs> see, but this but this is the thing. As I said, PlayStation Home was the beginning of an idea that they never actually got right. And I'm saying now with the technology possible and the fact that if they wanted to, they could have a playable UI. It is possible now. And mm. we, uh, it wouldn't be the first time we've seen an idea way before it's time, the power glove, and that nobody uh, basically... Uh, <laughs> that, no! that's, a, that's a running thing on the podcast, by the way. <laughs> oh, I know. But, but it, wouldn't be the last, it wouldn't be the last time or, or, or the first time we've seen something be done before that's just like, yeah, you sh that didn't work then. But that doesn't mean that it's never going to work. Like we've come yeah, a long way, yeah. So, I that's that's I how do, I feel. Do I you guys see where like, you're going with it? I do, I and I do see the benefits of it. And yes, it would be cool, but I think for the majority of players, if that was the main source of how you get to all your stuff, I think the novelty of it will wear off very quickly, and people will start to get annoyed with it. I think people. Well, this is what I'm gonna say. I would rather be in a playable hub city type thing and see an ad for something than to have that ad on my home screen. That's that's one of the other things that like made me think of this initially. Like when I first had this idea was I would like cuz they keep trying to figure out how to put advertisements into these UIs. And the only way that I can think of the only way I can think of it being done in the gaming community without sparking some sort of outrage that literally makes people hate your UI is if it was part of an interactable aspect of where they're putting it. Yeah, and I ter I get that, but you also have to consider like uh, imagine the server space they would need to run this thing. Like how many PS4s are out in circulation right now? Like 130 million? Something crazy like that? So imagine having this home space on the PS5, having the same amount of players as PS4 on it, you've got 130 million people daily coming onto the server to access just your menu. That's going to cost some heavy cash to keep running. And also, if I'm assuming this would be running in the background at all times, yeah. Like, are you willing to sacrifice, like, uh, a game state suspend or, or, you know, how they're and, doing uh, suspended games with the new system? Like, would you be able to sacrifice one of those for this? I don't and think not, most would. Not I, only I, that, you I personally, have to... okay, let me first off say, I honestly don't get the the hype for the game suspends basically yeah, like the instant either, but i only play one game anyway the, yeah <laughs> they, yeah that's what i'm saying like the instant reloads i was talking with jamie about this before like how people are like how playstation gonna come back at xbox about you know how you can jump right back into a game like who does that like yeah. <laughs> i honestly have no clue who does that because for me it's like yo these things load up in seconds now like from not yeah. being in a safe it's state do necessary you than ever yeah, so it's like, why is this being touted as something so great when the other thing being touted is how fast it loads cold? Like, yeah. I'm going to be playing Dreams. If I'm playing Dreams and someone is like, hey, come play COD, first of all, I'm cursing them out. But the next point is is that I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, no, I'm playing Dreams. Like, I'm not going to do that. And then even if I were to accept their invitation, I can't wait five seconds for the game <laughs> exactly. to load? Yeah. Like, come on, people. Anyway. But and go, as far going as back, going back to your whole home thing. One let one one let me let me jump in there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Let me jump in. Uh Abby actually replied back that uh I'm pretty sure we can figure something out. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> go ahead. Um but yeah, so going back to your whole thing, so yeah, not only would you have the whole server side of things where you've got 130 million people on it constantly. They already got those servers. Yeah, but they're dedicated to other things. This is a constant... They don't have just thing. enough, though. 
Yeah, I know, but you have to consider the cost value on this as well against what they're going to be coming back from it. You know, there's always a cost and to to develop something, but they expect something in return. And yeah, you have the the advertising space that you can have on it, but I don't think that would be enough to host 130 million people daily on a server. But not only that, you would also have the whole thing of the PlayStation needing to always be online. And we know how bad that went for Xbox. Yeah. So I that's just, another thing. I I get that, but I'm not gonna lie. My brain went away from what you were saying. Like I was listening, but I immediately started thinking of that new picture in picture thing that they put up. And mm. and and I wonder if you can put a like a um a browser in that second window because that would be cool to have references that you could pull up in dreams and have the actual picture oh, yeah. off to the side. That's an amazing idea, actually. So Wow. So, like, VR? yeah. Where you can't so, look at a second screen? Yeah. Just, that'd be amazing. So, those are the only types of ideas I have. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 No, has anybody seen Grandma's Boy so I don't sound like a complete dick on that? Like, that's a, that's a, that's a, a quote from Grandma's Boy, which, Jamie, don't think I've no, forgotten, because I, I have I not. Know. Okay? I know. Um, Twitter handles. I'm mighty vicious on Twitter. At mighty Can you vicious. Post, just post on the the link trees. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Here we go. Um. Uh, so yeah, while I'm, I, you know what? I put it in wrong. Lol. And <laughs> and there we go. That one is for me and all of my pages, including YouTube. And this is for Lucid. Yeah, there you go. Lucid Nebula Studios. Took a minute for it to pop in. So if y'all want to follow us on anything, those are the links or the link trees so that you can see every place to find us, which I would like to. I, I was hoping that uh, one of our regulars would be here because he was giving me a bunch of crap because all my names didn't match or my names didn't match from social media to dreams. I have now changed my name on PSN to Mighty Vicious. I had to put an X before and after because somebody had Mighty Vicious for some reason. I, I never understand, but there you go. So I'm Mighty Vicious everywhere. There you go. Nice. Uh, you got to legally change it. Legally change what? My, my actual <laughs> name? <laughs> Hey, I, I'm just saying. Your first I'm just, name mighty surname vicious. <laughs> all one word. All no one word. word. <laughs> but I, it, yeah, it's like you have to understand. I didn't start out this way. I did. I didn't. And honestly, it, I got. I bought PlayStation Four for dreams that didn't come out for seven years after I bought the console. Okay, let's be real about this. So. I'm just saying, like, I've grown since then into a much, a, 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 a black man with a lot of fervor. And so I'm just saying, my, my name's... Growth or a descent into badness? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. One or the other. It doesn't really matter. It's 2020. <laughs> Getting... The... In a world. So, no. Um, <laughs> Zypher asked if we were getting my superhero story. So, um, <laughs> but no. Um, all I'm saying is, you know, I, I started out as one thing and I've become something else. Something more powerful. So, back to this. Are we are we, are we closing it up for the day? Or uh, I, th I think we are. And I'd like to close on a question for... For uh, for for Mr. Berger, um, if my dad's if, name, <laughs> <laughs> way to make it weird, Jamie. Way to make it weird. <laughs> if um if if there could be one feature added to Dreams in an update that would benefit you greatly, what would it be? Oh, um, I mean, besides the, the really obvious ones, you know, multiplayer. Um, mm -hmm. Increase thermo, whatever. Um, as somebody who's currently working on a game that's very menu heavy, um, some sort of improved 
text gadget or a dedicated UI gadget mm. would be amazing because yeah, just like a menu thing you could just drag into your game or something. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Because it's it's so unwieldy just working with all these text gadgets to to come up with some sort of like polished UI. Mm. Like if you want to like add a check mark to a level that you've completed or something like that, that's like a separate yeah. text gadget that you have to add. And then you end up with like 40 text gadgets in a microchip and it's just wow ridiculous. Especially from when you're trying to move them around and they're all like layered on top of each other. It's impossible to deal with. It's a huge pain in the ass. So something mm-hmm. like that would be. That's that a, actually a really, that's a really good shout. No one's actually yeah. ever mentioned that before, but that's such a brilliant idea yeah. is, to, is to have a UI gadget. Hmm. I mean, it's, not, it's kind of specific to my current problem, so I don't know how, how useful well, no, it is. I mean, I mean let's but... face it. I mean, most games now in Dreams, they have these they have these menus. People are trying to make their games more game-like. Exactly. So, yeah. they, 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 you know, they want them to have a menu and options to change settings and things because people are trying to create games, and the menu is a big part of that. It is, so yeah. it, it right makes now, perfect it's extremely sense. Extremely tedious to work to work on that stuff. But it, it makes perfect sense to have something simple to just drag and drop in there. Yeah, and it makes a huge difference to just the kind of professional the professionalism of your game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. UI. And after that update, if they could just make a plugin that makes it so the PSVR actually taps into my mind so that things work the way I think they should, that'll be <laughs> that'll be perfect. Perfect for me. <laughs> but I would like to say thank you. Thank you, Van, for being here and, and, and taking this. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's been a lot. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, but I, but really I fun. would. <laughs> no, but thank you because this has been extremely fun, and I really just want to say again that like the work you've done, while it, I don't know how you feel, what you know, how you feel about it. I'm sure you had fun doing it, but it is quality work. And when I said that you should be getting paid for it, I, I, I wasn't just trying to, you know blow your head up like you should be getting paid for this you're making quality stuff and it's wonderful to have you in the dreams community for me there's like for me there's a top tier of dream creators where if you were to execute your your game outside of dreams you would not recognize it as a dreams game that to me shows real dedication to projects and a real professionalism towards their work. And there is only a select few people that I personally know within the Dreamiverse that is capable of that. And you are one of those people. Um, Honestly, you know, if if your game was, you know, sideloaded to to a phone or something, you would never know it was made in Dreams. And that really shows how professionally made your content is. It's fantastic. Thank you. That's that's what I strive for. So that's that's great to hear. Thank you. Awesome. And great. Jamie, any last words? If you know what's good for you, spread the word about dreams, otherwise you're going to hear it for the next two hours in the next episode. (laughs) That's what I'm going to leave everyone with. (laughs) And if you don't believe it, I want you all to take a look. Smell my eyes. (laughs) Look into the dark chasm that is my pupil. Uh... Understand. You will hear about it. No. <laughs> so thank you, everybody, for showing up. And I hope you all are here next week. Same. Well, almost same time. 3 p.m. Yeah. EST every week. And um, yeah, we'll talk about more dreams and meet more exciting people. All right. Catch nice you around. You guys. Bye. <laughs>